It was like fate in the making. It was like fate. Hello everybody, welcome back to Battables and welcome back to our Nuzlocke adventure. Or at least not my adventure, but I guess us watching somebody else's adventure. Because we need to learn from people's mistakes and see how things go and how to be a better trainer and survivor of Nuzlocke and Kaizos and all that jazz. It seems like everybody enjoyed the Alpha Rad Nuzlocke reaction, so I'm excited to check out his randomized Nuzlocke. And then after, and the next week we're gonna do their um, I think he and Jaden have a soul link after that. I have no idea what's gonna happen Maybe we'll just shut down the channel or maybe we'll find another Nuzlocker. I don't know. We'll see what we do but I'm excited to check him out. I like his content. I like who he is as a person. He seems like a really cool guy Let's get into it. This is just a friendly reminder that as your backup YouTube uh, Channel that you check out from time to time or in bursts or after two weeks You're like, oh now I have a bunch of Mattables content uh, hey, please hit the subscribe button. I don't really care about the bell. I don't know if the bell makes a big difference or not. If you like it, sure, go for it. I don't, I don't know what it does for me. But otherwise, just like and comment. I greatly appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the content, that you want more of it, and that I'm doing something okay. All right, so let's see how a noob reacts to Randomized Nuzlocke by Mr. Alpha Red after his whole first experience with the whole Alakazam thing. That was funny, though. Pokemon Nuzlocke. Yeah. Home to the kindest comment section. Oh, my God. Here we see Plants is weak to fire. <laughs> oh, that sounds like that sounds like my chat. Uh, no one, no one knew how to perish song. I, I mean, I've never used perish song either. Brayden is the worst. Yeah, Brayden is for sure the worst. Oh my god, painful to watch. I yeah, but like, it, it, it's just, it's just funny. All right, it's just it's just great because this is this is exactly my kind of experience. This is exactly the reactions I get. It's hilarious. I am so happy that these exist so I can feel better about myself, or at least I know that other people exist. Is known to YouTube. Recently, I attempted my first Nuzlocke, and I'd like to think it went well. Yeah. No matter what other people might say. But if you don't know, Nuzlocke suddenly make this baby game of Pokemon suitable for Harvard graduates. Mm -hmm. It's essentially permadeath and fire emblem, but the swords aren't necessary. <clears throat> Were they ever? Outside of permadeath, there are a few extra rules, like how you can only catch the first Pokemon per route, and others right. that I will simply put on. Okay, so these are his. So these are his rules that he's self-imposing on himself. I have a, I have a few for my Nuzlocke as well, not my, my Kaizo and my Nuzlocke usually. So let's see, permadeath. I mean, obviously, nickname every Pokemon. I, I feel like some of these are mandatory, right? Can only catch the first Pokemon. Waiting out is an instant loss. Items are banned in battles. I I allow myself to use items because I suck. Uh, can't catch two of the same Pokemon. Okay, dupes clause. No intentional overleveling. I, see, I like the uh, asterisks there. That's what they're called, right? The little asterisks. Because I accidentally do it all the time and I feel so bad about it. But now I've learned to like save state so it's not going to happen as much. YouTubers will unfortunately react to your run. For sure. And that's what we're doing right now. On screen. But the biggest difference of this adventure compared to the last one is that this one will be completely randomized. I love it. Every Pokemon is replaced with another at random. Some oh. make the game easier, oh, okay. and some make the game harder. I thought, like, because I've seen... I really thought this effect would be look cooler. I spent $60 on the software, so I'm keeping it in. <laughs> relatable, dude. So relatable. Oh, my God. But, like, sometimes, like, I've seen Small Ant use things for, like, every match. It's a different set of Pokemon, a different set of moves and stuff like that. So I didn't know if it was, like, completely random or if it's just, like, everybody's all scattered all over the place. Even like our better. starter could be absolutely anything. Okay. So as usual for this journey, I was in a Discord call with some friends as they watched me play. And just Gosh. for fun, I let them guess out of the 386 options in Pokemon Emerald, who was going to be my starter on this randomized journey. I don't know. Um, it's going to be stupid. Which isn't a bad... It's going to be... Okay, well, I said, ground. I said it's either going to be stupid overpowered or stupid, like, weak. I guess by any means. I mean, everything's equally likely, but I mean... Oh. Okay, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna look at what the other ones are. I'm taking ground on. <laughs> what was Joe saw into the Wait, but I wanna know. So I wanna know. I, I like knowing my op. What, what if it was, can it be stronger than ground on? Probably not, but would it be cute to be like, oh, I could get an Eevee and a Vaporeon. I could have, I could have my choice or something. You know, it's just, it's just a cute idea. Let's turn this up just a, a pinch. And I find this screen hysterical for the first Pokemon battle in the game. Spoiler alert, uh, we won. Since Jome happened to be the Jesus one who Christ. somehow predicted Groudon, I decided to name him Jome Din? Jom Don? Jom Don. Jome Dome. Sure. Upon nurturing our little baby Groudon, it was time to destroy the hopes and dreams of a rival who, unfortunately, did not have a legendary as a starter. It's right. kind of funny if you think about it, because it's like, what if our rival was doing a Nuzlocke too? And if they were, they're not doing a good job of it. So one massacre later, and we were rewarded with Pokeballs. And that's when I think technically the uh, the Nuzlocke officially starts, right? Is, is that what I learned from actual professionals? Is that once you obtain the Pokeballs, that's when the Nuzlocke begins? It's now time to catch our first companion in Cyndaquil, and we're uh -oh. out of Pokeballs. 
Luckily, Pokemon Emerald is a pretty generous Nuzlocke since we get- That's- it, it- it- it does suck. It does suck when that happens when you're not prepared and stuff. But like, in Kaizo, I think the Pokeballs are like 10 bucks, 10 Poke Dollars, 10 Poke Coins, whatever they are. And I think it's a really cute addition because I like having a shit ton of Pokeballs. Three chances of encounters right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But the hardest part about oh. having a legendary starter is that his stats are too damn high and it's impossible to weaken anything without killing it. Well- yeah, but you can just throw it, right? So we needed an assistant. We needed the catcher, who immediately lived up to his name as we entered Route 102, and the catcher caught the catched. We had a few <laughs> early battles, but ultimately we also had Groudon as a starter. Mm -hmm. But a broken starter can't fix a broken home as we confront our absentee de It absolutely can. It, it for sure can. I mean, just level it up in the gyms and stuff. Like, it will, it, for, it should carry you, right? Dad, who gives more attention to the strange green-haired yeah, kid know. who is definitely on Twitter still posting about national decks. We had some scary... I don't give a shit about Ralts. ...scary encounters as anything that can explode is considered a scary encounter to me. Upon okay. entering Petalburg Woods, we were greeted with the perfect specimen, War Turtle. Oh. And to my surprise, he stayed in the ball. Nice. With Captain Kid in the call and ready to give me excellent advice, just like last time. Instead of, it's time for me too. <laughs> it's time. For me. I hated. This. Oh yeah, that's why I was I gonna say it. give the quick claw to Mewtwo is because uh, if you could proc quick claw and then have the flint. What did I say, Brayden? What, what did I say? <laughs> well, despite that, I offered to name our Blastoise to be after him. Wow, nice, nice. We get a Blastoise. Yeah. Okay. Brayden, you want this named after you, right? Absolutely, yes. The first obstacle in this run was a- I would never speak to him again after that incident. Random Aqua Grunt who happened to have a level 9 Swampert. Jeez. I know Drought is active, but I was- I have a weird, like, um, self-imposed rule that I don't use multiple starters, because I think starters are kind of strong. You know, they're, they're just, like, reliably strong. So I'm like, I, I feel like it'd be overpowered if we used a Blastoise, a Charizard, and a Venusaur. You know, so I only limit myself to, like, one starter. It's terrified of drowning to a single water move. And he only knows tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Right. One force later, and we're now in one of the many, many double battles that Pokemon Emerald loves to throw at you. Mm -hmm. In the future, when Groudon learns Earthquake, these battles are going to be a breeze. Assuming I don't accidentally kill Captain Is this Kid. For yeah, I'll cross that bridge when we get there because now it's time to focus on the Rustboro gym. So yeah. let's do a little bit of grinding. So when we get to the gym, we can just ignore everybody else. She's like, hello, I'm Roxanne. How the fuck you- Oh, he's playing my game. Oh, he's playing Emerald. We're doing it. We're, we're seeing a little bit of the future. Solve that puzzle. Roxanne started with an Omanyte, retreated with a Machop, and got desperate for a Growlithe. That gym was a cakewalk. That's it? I know I- That's it? Dude, Kaizo sucks, man. Probably got one of the best starters I could have oh, had, God. but like Roxanne could have just had Kyogre. I know my luck True. has been, uh... Oh wait, that's right, that's right. It's a, it's a random, I keep forgetting it's randomized. Of course you don't start off with a ground on you, idiot. Uh, some might say historically phenomenal. Bowser's chance time. Well, what? Wait, well, what? what? Uh, Jacob just, uh, just doesn't lose anything from Bowser, wow. So just how lucky can this Nuzlocke run be? All right, guys, new encounter. I mean, that, that's my one thing about uh, randomized Nuzlocke is the fact that like it can like super hurt you or super help you or maybe both. I don't know. I've never done one, but it seems like at this point, like you can get legendary super early and it'll be super broken or maybe like every enemy you face will be a legendary. It'll be exhausting. Oh, this Whisper. one's huge. I, I feel it. I know this I is a huge get. Yeah! Oh! Yep. My favorite Pokemon of all Absol? time. That emo, that, that, cr <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say cringy. That, uh, what's, he's angsty. That's what he is. He's a very angsty Fallout Boy 2009 type. Because that used to be me. Absol, Monochrome, Crescent Moons, little cat thing. <laughs> what's not to love? Oh Recently, I actually made a tier list of every Pokemon in existence. Jeez. And Absol is sitting up right there on top because this run is so. What? We ran out of Pokeballs. We'll save that for another time. Which brings us to our second team, Aqua Grunt, who happens to have. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Why are you holding a Wingle hostage? And just Jeez. to assert dominance over our rival who's already ruined their Nuzlocke True. attempt, we decide to entertain the optional battle just mm -hmm. to see what they have. I wonder what this is. Oh my are. god, oh, no geez. way! I can't believe I, it. That's. So how? Honestly, I'd much rather have Mudkip over Groudon. Ac actually, by saying that out loud, I mm -hmm. could have just played Emerald normally. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why, why would you want Mudkip? Almost normally.
Oh. Onward to Duford, and we are ready to get a brand new encounter in Granite Cave. Mm. Yo! Oh. That, that's Yo! a good one. What, what, what is this little bean that we have here? I don't recognize any of these. Oh. I never do. I never Yo! remember. Oh my god! A flag on his top five on my list, and one of the strongest Pokemon in Hoenn. So far, this run just cannot get any better. I, I forgot to get more Pokeballs. Oh my god, dude. Oh my God, this is your fault this time. I am afraid to look at the comments at this point. Jeez. I didn't know that's what that involved into. That's kind of crazy. <sighs> uh, shake it off. This is fine. Uh, we you. probably didn't need Flygon anyways. No. Nope. <sighs> Steven Stone gives us a TM and we head straight towards Brawly at the end of a maze that I somehow memorized. Wow, I, wow. I, I, I had to make that trip so much in the Kaizo and I also memorize it. And I also hate it. I'm honestly shocked you remember that. Look at me, dude. I will not fall for a single puzzle. Yo, uh, what's this Pokemon? Golden. Joe. What's up? I just wanted to see if you knew what this Pokemon's name was. Well, his name's Gulpin. Oh, no. Sadly, this run was <laughs> far from perfect as we happen to lose the catch, but thank God oh, the so catcher hard. will replace them soon enough. Raleigh's ace Gyarados was a little scary, but he got Jome domed as we spammed ancient power. Dude, we are, are we betting? Well, I guess we can't bet. You guys already seen this. Is he going to lose this ground on? Is, this, is that what's going to happen? I, I, I feel it. I don't know why. I just feel like he can't hold on to this ground on. Left the gym to go to a funeral in the nearby hospital, which and for some reason it's going to be Brayden's fault. It's kind of fucked up if you think about it, but you, you know how normally in Nuzlocke runs, death is supposed to hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, this is fine. Our next destination was Slateport, but more specifically the Pokemart in Slateport, so we didn't miss out on, I don't know, another Flygon. We went to the museum to stop the Aqua Raid, got the TM for Thief, which will come in handy later, and okay. then defeated more Aqua Grunts, who luckily didn't have a legendary this time. New encounter right here. I feel like the chances are more against you in this because you have to fight so many trainers that they're bound to have more legendaries. So like, it's just it's just cute. I think I like the idea of a randomized Nuzlocke because like, Anything can happen. Anything can happen. They can have five Groudons, technically. And, 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 I have Pokeballs. This time we w. will catch it for sure. Crobat. Yo, honestly, not bad. bad. My good friend Aaron bad. Itmar decided to join the call and it felt right to name this Crobat after him. Brendan, our rival, challenged us yet again with a brand new team since someone apparently keeps murdering all of his Pokemon or something like that. Do, oh, it, does he get like random Pokemon every time too? So like he never, he's never gonna have the same set? That's crazy. Anyways, this battle quickly came to a close as he murdered all of his Pokemon or something like that. After making it to Mauville City, another friend joined the call and another friend wanted a Pokemon named after them, so... 17. This is the coolest Pokemon you've ever seen. Check it out. See it. <laughs> this is Cade in all of his essence. And there I am. <laughs> yes! No way! Yes! Holy shit! Yes! We do. You know what? I, I think it's cool. I don't know exactly what it does. I've never had Swalot. Swalot? I, I don't know. I've never seen. Oh, wait, is this a Gulpin upgrade? Upgrade. Ev evolution? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, yeah, good. Baby. Wow. Here we are at the third gym. I wonder what electric gym. types Watson will have for us today. Whoa! Articuno! Oh, okay. Okay. That's why he's happy. Oh. Hey, it's okay. That's have, not. Uh, that's, that's not Pikachu. Watson <laughs> then threw out a Corphish where. I, oh, I, I don't know how, but this little Pokemon managed to land five protects in a row. Oh my god! <laughs> it, so it's got like a diminishing returns, right? So it's gonna like. I think it fails. It has a better chance to fail after each consecutive use. I don't know what the stats look like on that bad boy, but I know it's not the easiest thing. I, I don't think I ever even found where Protect is or ever used Protect. I just know that stat of it. <laughs> that fifth Protect had a 6% chance of working and he still lost. <laughs> Fine, I lost. <laughs> He's like, shit, I, I didn't know y'all got grout on. <laughs> after backtracking for some HMs, we continued our journey with some choice encounters lined up. Oh, it could be here. I feel something big here, something huge. Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, How that did you know? Cute. So I guess. I guess you could say things are going well, but what if they were weller? Okay, uh -oh. new encounter, new encounter. Dude, what is going on, man? Oh my oh, god! Oh my god, dude, what? Oh. No. I've been I've been looking for this Pokey. I don't know where to find this bitch. I've been looking for him in my Kaiser one because I want. I've been dying to use it. I don't know where it is, but it seems like the, his little nu randomized Nuzlocke run will be the easiest Nuzlocke run 
You can have. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. So finding a Beldum might seem fortunate, but allow me to um, um, actually explain why it's not. In okay. a Nuzlocke, you only get one catch encounter per round, and I've essentially wasted this entire encounter on Beldum because this little bastard possesses a near impossible catch rate. For example, it is more likely for you to get accepted into Princeton twice. So what I'm trying to say is that you Really? You would have to possess phenomenal luck to be able to catch this Beldum. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. So take a look at this team. Absolutely broken. This is a randomized Nuzlocke, and they just it's gave fine. me this team. I really thought this game was going to be a challenge, but I lucked into an impossible team. In all honesty, <laughs> how could I possibly lose with what life has handed me? Sometimes God has favorites. What can I say? He, he's leaning too much into this. You know something's about to happen. Groudon was even offered to learn bulk up, but like, do we really need it when the whole world gets domed by a single yes. earthquake? <laughs> I think we'll be fine. He doesn't need to bulk up. He's already bulking. Meanwhile, I, on top of I a volcano, I guess, Archie is talking about his plan to meet Groudon, okay. unaware that he is moments away from having his entire team swept <laughs> by, <laughs> you guessed it, is, Groudon. Look With another Pokemon is. gym right around the corner, face. I thought I would stop by, peep in, murder every living creature in the vicinity, say hello, and collect my fourth gym badge. Okay. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> ridiculous, dude. This which was clearly ridiculous. a great challenge. Hopefully the fifth gym will prove to be a little more difficult oh and God. nope, uh-uh, nope. At this point, I genuinely do not know how we can lose. This team might as well have been crafted by the gods themselves. And it's the Jesus. exact team I would I have mean, made when I was eight years old. And even what we had sitting in the box wasn't bad. Uh, I mean, nine tails is okay. I, I like the uh, the fish on the bottom left. I have, uh, was it Wizcash? Something like that. Is, that. is that what else? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's that much great stuff. Flareon's cute. Ninetales is cute. The bottom left thing is cute. That's about it. I don't really like anything else. Bayleaf is a pinch overrated. This run Sorry. has been so cute, incredibly mindless, rated. yet so incredibly fruitful. Just like my entire channel. <clears throat> was, was, uh, was subscribe for more. Do you, do you have nine? Do you have a billion? Do you? I'm subscribed. Okay. Okay. After defeating Norman, it unlocks new Mauville, which is essentially worthless for us outside of a free encounter named Murkrow, mm -hmm. who is an awesome little dude and will probably just spend the rest of their life sitting inside of PC. With the shell gone in hand, our only goal was the top. Coming oh, from cute. the Hoenn Swamp, we were here to take back the Weather Company. And after defeating the Aqua Admin, the Weather Team normally rewards you with a cast form. But this is a randomizer. Uh, they uh -huh. gave us a Charizard to be. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> sure. It, it's kind of cool, though. I, I, I kind of like it. It's I, I think I like the idea of an Iron Mon better. Because like if, it's, if you do get like a legendary Pokemon, you can get like shit moves or vice versa if you get a caterpie you can get them with like dragon dance or some shit like that you know like i i think i like the pure idea of a um of a nuzzle i mean i'll probably do a randomizer before i do like an iron mon but like and still. if you want to see what an unsuccessful nuzlocke looks like okay. allow me to reintroduce you to brendan who is leading with farfetched i mean yeah he has other pokemon but mm -hmm. i have groudon nearby fortree city we so caught it a magneton before revealing kecleon as who cares but then we revealed another nearby kecleon as crawdon which is a fair backup okay. if captain Crawdon's kid ever happens cool. to burn and perish it was just a matter of what do we name him a cab a cab all crabs are bastards <laughs> then we had to take out winona which if you've watched the rest of this video so far okay. you know how this ends it ends with Groudon. Every battle in this video will end with Groudon. Is, is, is it actually the whole thing? It, we're almost done with the video and it, it's, it's, it's getting there. And that is a promise. It is literally impossible at this point for it to go any other way. But upon entering Lily Cove, I made an incorrect decision to okay. challenge our rival in an entirely optional battle. Why was this a mistake, you ask? Oh no. Because he had a wheezing who likes to explode all over our little Crobat. <gasps> no! Oh, no! I love Crobat. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Crobat was huge, but we, we knew sucks. it was a possibility. Oh my god. Just one. Only one fatality. Well, I mean, does it hurt? Yeah. Are we going to move on? Yeah. yeah. Our team is so stacked that it you would have to dome still. dome the entire squad before losing would even start to feel like a I'm possibility. I'm excited to see what the Elite Four Our next there. destination was Moss Deep. For even though it's like, even, even the Elite Four can just have like a bunch of cat, like... I don't know. It seems like a randomizer is an easier version of a Nuzlocke, right? 
I, I think you just have more chances of good luck. For the seventh gym, and before that, you have to foil both Team Aqua and Team Magnus plans. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. Mm -hmm. The only difficult puzzle is the one that haunted my dreams when I was in third grade. I but despite that. that it really came down I, to I think I, with yeah. Maxi and Archie. I in regards to Maxi, I find it hilarious how fixated he is on Groudon, yet still unaware of which Pokemon of mine is going to sweep his team, starting with... Oh, oh he doesn't even care. He's forced your <laughs> A Mewtwo. Oh, no. See? It, it can happen. It's, cool. It's bad. Sure, whatever. But it's not like he has another legendary. Oh, my God! Oh, what? Is Mew actually good? Like, I, I, I've i never seen Mew fight or do anything, to be honest. I don't know what it does. Ow. Yeah, why does this guy <laughs> think right. he needs Groudon? Oh, my God. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He does have Groudon. Well, I was right when I said every battle would end in a Groudon victory, no. but... No. Oh, thank God it was ours. Okay. No match for the Jome Dome. Well, that was say. an interesting battle, huh? Anyways, fast forward to the Aqua Hideout Raid, and... Yeah, that's Zapdos, and uh, I forgot the name of this Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. Anyways, uh, let me know it. in the comments what this Pokemon's name was. Ah, silly me. Then the most tilting part of this entire run was the lack of foresight on my part since okay. I randomized all the items on the ground. So when I should have picked up a Master Ball. That's God, no, it's not <laughs> a like Master Ball. Points. I mean, does he need a Master Ball at this point? He, dude, he's killing it. The hard scale. Then as we continued our journey, our next random encounter was Lugia. Okay. We didn't catch it, but now imagine if I had a Master Ball. And then we finally made it to- You, you probably still could have caught it. It was level 12, right? Boss Deep. I wanted to fish within the city since it's technically a new encounter, mm -hmm. but I noticed some- Gotta abuse those new encounters. If it's one thing I learned from my heart gold Nuzlocke, it's abuse every single encounter you can. I, I always got a Pokemon and Headbutt in the forest, and then I headbutt in every single town I went into. So I always had an encounter. I always was able to stock back up. I think it's a good idea. Something strange. To use that system. This random Snorlax had leftovers. In fact, okay. every random Snorlax in the area had leftovers. Music. So hypothetically speaking, if a little Murkrow would be pulled out of the box and agree to use the team for Thief, oh. we could just farm leftovers and give one to every single Pokemon in our party. You know, because we need it. We're not strong enough already. No so yeah, way. I took this incredibly broken team and made them even what? more broken and then brought them all into the next gym that was full of double battles. No, oops, oops. Captain Kid, don't die. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, a little spicy there, wow. bud. A little spicy. <laughs> okay, but what if? You know, I thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. So new strategy. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is spam Groudon's Earthquake to jome dome the entire island while you have Charizard, a flying type, who ignores all consequences of Jome Doming. After acquiring True. another badge, we had to team up with Steve. I forgot that's a thing. I totally would have fell for that. Even Stone to stop Team Magma yet again. Because no his feet are on the ground. You never see Charizard fly except in the cartoon, you know? Not like even the former champion. Y y he's only got little wings sometimes. It depends on, the, I guess, it depends on like the animation or the... Because uh, I know that some images of Charizard, he has little wings. Sometimes he has a little bit bigger wings. But he, dude, he's got a big old bottom. That dude's thick. And was immune right. from getting Jome domed. Also, I forgot about the entire underwater. Even the former champion was immune with Steven Stone to stop Team Magma yet again. But not even the former champion was immune from getting Jome domed. Oh my also, God. I forgot about the entire underwater cavern thing in this entire game, but I kind of mentioned it earlier with the demented boulder puzzle thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting really happened here except for the fall of Team Aqua and, uh, oh, actually, uh, perhaps the slacking one shot in my Charizard because I was what? using the weakest move I had for some reason. Oh my matter. god, dude. You <gasps> what? Ouch! Whoa! Oh my god. Ow. I would have been infuriated, dude. Oh, this thing? He deserves it, though. He's he's playing... He's he's way too nonchalant. He's, 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 he's too cocky, all right? We gotta we got throw him down a little bit. We gotta get rid of this Jardome. I'm Team Nuzlocke now, not Team Alpha Rat anymore. He's too strong. It has Whoa. now become absolutely terrifying. This was stupid, and I feel bad. Charizard literally had a move that allowed him to attack every other turn, which is perfect for fighting slacking. But again, our team is incredibly stupid strong. And as we mourn Charizard, the game played the cutscene that made every seven-year-old in the world pop off before telling us to recruit Rayquaza. Uh, Rayquaza? I actually never learned how to pronounce it. Rayquaza. Hey guys, um, <laughs> could you stop? After another thrilling motion picture, Archie and Maxi both apologized for fucking with global warming. <laughs> mm -hmm. The heroes we needed. Yeah, they were just like, man, 
maybe that wasn't great you know what honestly the biggest character growth of any team in pokemon they're just like huh maybe we are the bad yeah. guys and then it was time to collect our final it's also oh final gym bat i like that little noise edge i did it. huh that's kind of cute uh but what, what, I was, what i was gonna say is that like it's also interesting to see like as, this came out after his first nuzlocke right so he's got completely less production cost production effort he's got less stuff in this video than he does in his other video i wanted to throw in some kind of production stuff because we haven't talked about anything because it's really just been a very it's been a breeze and just two deaths and he's just kind of just going with it dude but like it, it's like he, his other one had like artwork he had like crazy intense music and stuff like that he had ups he had downs he had just everything it had everything in it and this one is just super chill so I wonder if this is actually like a less successful video because of it. Quan threw multiple tricky puzzles our way, but I was in control. I might have had some careless losses here and there, but they ultimately don't matter because our team as a unit mm -hmm. is invincible. That's right. Every battle ends with Groudon, and this one will be no different. Whoa. He has a Groudon. Dude. This makes me so nervous when he does this shit. Dude. Why does this keep happening? Why does everybody have I, like the quote every fight will end in ground out? It makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I did Aren't you upset you didn't get your bulk up? You should have gotten your bulk up. Definitely tossed that one aside, didn't I? We're faster and I'm gonna crit right here. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh oh god. Don't let the Jome Dome go down to a Jome Dome. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh my no god. shot! Oh my god. Oh, oh god. here it is. Oh, Ouch! No! <laughs> Miss? Oh, BM, dude. Oh, oh so the final boss. We should have known that's how it goes. We die here. We die here. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, that's the run! <laughs> you lost the run! <laughs> this run was nothing more than a simulation. They gave me everything I could ever ask for, yeah. and I carelessly took it. You did. The Charizard would have been so useful, or the or the Crobat, either one. It would have did so good. All for granted. Groudon is the. It was like fate in the making. It was like fate. All right. He lost both fly flying types. Excuse me, to like just some utter bullshit you could have easily avoided, and then you died to a Groudon, which you've been abusing the entire round, the entire video. It's almost poetic. The key to any team, but Juan showed me that a Groudon spamming Earthquake is only as strong as the trainer who was telling Groudon to spam Earthquake. Like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun. You did. And only ended up with memories of a simpler time. You were doing so Our good. Our team was invincible, but I am only mortal. As an army is only as strong as their general, and I <laughs> regrettably let them all down. Yeah. At least... I never told a lie. Earlier I said that every battle will end with Groudon spamming Earthquake, That's right. and I was unfortunately correct, as I met the most poetic <laughs> end imaginable. Yeah. If I happen to learn anything from this run, it's that every move in the game will always feel stronger when it's your opponent who's doing it. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. That is so cool. We're, not, we're just going to do our outro here because I like to keep these shorts into longer videos anyway. Uh, we're going to do the um, Soul Link. That I could have sworn he was going to win that. We're going to do the Soul Link next week. I'm sorry. I'm jumping back before, between my ideas and stuff. But like, I I, I, I thought he was going to, I thought he was just going to take it. You had such a killer team. You were fine. You just need one flying type. and you. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We have a lot to talk about next week because we have Jaden and Alpha Rad. It's going to be an awesome video. I'm, dude, I can't wait. I can, they're like two different completely styles of like art and videos and we're gonna have them together working on a team kind of I, I guess we'll see how I, I don't know it's gonna be cool i'm really excited so that's gonna be next tuesday please let me know if you're excited uh, and if you enjoy these videos and if you want me to keep doing nuzlocke after we finish the Jaden and alpha rad or if maybe we'll try something different we'll see how it goes otherwise guys if you want to support me as a content creator please like comment subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it and i love you very much have a fantastic day have a fantastic night subscribe to Mattables for more reaction content see ya